Hey guys, what's up, Daniel here. Today we're doing a quick color comparison of the black iPhone 8 with the white iPhone 8. And they're officially silver and space gray, but you know, I mean, this is basically completely black and this is almost full on white. Uh, to say something about this one though, they do advertise it at silver. The edge is silver, but nothing else aside from that is silver. So this is definitely more of a white phone. But then again, you can't think of it as a white phone because the back is actually not fully white. It's actually more of a cloudy white or an opaque white, like a dirty white, off-white. It's hard to explain, but here I'll show you what a full-on white looks like. This is the actual box that it came in, and you can see full-on white and the off-white right there. You can see the difference right there between the phone color and the real white because the box shows the actual phone color. But uh, yeah, that's something to keep in mind if you... Thought this was gonna be full on white, it's not. If you thought it was gonna be silver, it's not. So uh, yeah, this is over here, space gray, but it's actually full on black. I mean, the side right here, the metal side is space gray. But aside from that, everything else is black. So I'm not sure what Apple was thinking with the naming, but those are some things to keep in mind. All right, so this year we do have that new glass back on both of these phones here. And that does change things a little bit. They're more reflective and they, Attract smudges a little bit more than the aluminum, but they are both more grippy than the aluminum. So if you're not using a case, you're not gonna tend to drop your phone as much, it's not gonna slide out of your hand as much. But comparing these two right here, the black iPhone is definitely quite a bit more reflective than the silver one right here. And um, yeah, you can kind of just see there, both of them. The black is way more reflective and it also shows the fingerprint smudges a little bit more compared to this one. So if you like to keep your phone really clean and you're gonna be using it without a case and stuff like that, maybe go with this one. Now we flip them over is where we get to the biggest reason why to get one color over the other. And that is that the front screen is all black on here and then this one is two-tone. And it also has those lines, whoop, it also has those lines around the screen that are black. So you can see that there. That's not something you see on the black one because of course the whole border is black. And that's something to keep in mind. I think this year it's worth going with this color and I'm fine just sticking with those black borders just because I like the color that much that I don't really care and I'm just gonna try to forget about that. And it's the one that looks the most like an iPhone 8. Like if you were to ask someone, you know, to compare them or see which one the iPhone 8 is, they'd probably think that this one's the iPhone 8 and they might mistake this one for an iPhone 7. Um, just because this color is brand new and it looks, you know, different to previous years. Instead, this one looks just like the Jet Black. Not just like it, but a lot like it. Now, aside from that, let's go ahead here and take a look at the sides here, which are aluminum and they feel really great. Of course, as I mentioned, this is like a space gray. And then right here, we do have those silver sides. And you can see there, everything's toned to match the phone. So right here inside the lightning port is black and right here it is silver. And then on the side here, you can see how it all looks. And uh, yeah, the phones look very minimal, very simple. I definitely do like the design and everything more to last year's and that's just because we've had the same design for so long that any change is good change at this point in my opinion. But uh, yeah, the wireless charging does make it a good reason to switch to a glass back. So it's not for no reason, you know, it's really nice to have that feature. And then lastly, as far as the boxes go right here, I mean, just in case you care, this is the boxes that they came in and you can see them right there. They both look really great. They kind of remind me of the older iPod boxes, just the design and stuff that uh, they used to advertise like the iPod Nanos and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, there you guys go. That is the white and the black iPhone 8. Let me know what you guys think. What would you guys choose given the opportunity to select one of these phones? I'm definitely going with the white one just because of the back, but uh, definitely the front always wins with that black front. And that's one of the reasons that the iPhone X has only a black front because it looks way more seamless and much more futuristic with that whole you know, frame being black on the front and the back being a different color. And what I mean by that is right here we have the S8 which does that perfectly. So you can see it has a black front right here. So the whole bezel is black which barely has any bezel. And the back is a different color and it just makes the front look much better. Especially since it has so much glass that just makes it look very seamless and uh, futuristic. So uh, yeah guys that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions feel free to comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And aside from that I'll catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye.